The next question is how is backpropagation different from gradient descent? So during your deep learning interviews, you might get a question regarding the difference between backpropagation and gradient descent. This is usually a question, a tricky one to confuse you because sometimes it's very intuitive to describe the training process and to say that we first perform our forward pass, we then compute our loss function to see how well the model is training and the amount of error that is making on average. And then we compute the gradients to understand how much we need to, how much of a change we have in the loss function when we apply the uh, change in various uh, parameters. And then we use this in order to uh, supply it to the backward pass to continuously then update the model parameters up until the earlier layers in order to end up with a model that is performing better by coming from the deeper layers to the earlier layers. So this sounds very intuitive and you might be still, uh, you might be uh, still be asked a question, but how is this then different from the gradient descent? What is this difference specifically when it comes to backpropagation and GD? Well, the answer to this question actually is a very simple one. And this is just, in my opinion, a question to trick the interviewee. But I would just say that the backpropagation is the actual process of computing the gradients to understand how much a change in the loss function is there when we are changing the model parameters. And then the output of the backpropagation is simply used as an input for the gradient descent or any other optimization algorithm in order to update the model parameters. So the gradient descent is simply using the output of the backpropagation as an input because it's taking the computed gradients from the backprop as an input in order to then update the model parameters. So the backpropagation happens in the middle once we end up with our forward pass and then the backpropagation is done and then we are performing our backward pass. So we are using the backprop and then we are continuously iteratively updating our model parameters from deeper layers to the earlier layers. And then this is what is done by the optimization algorithm.